Hello, sixth graders. This is Miss Smidra, and our next unit of study is the difference between potential and kinetic energy. Well, what is potential energy? You've probably heard the word potential before. Probably some teacher, some parent saying, oh, you have so much potential. But really, what does that mean? Well, potential is the ability to do something in the future. So, potential energy is energy that is stored. Well, Another way of thinking about it is potential energy is energy that is getting ready to do something, usually in the future, hence the name potential energy. Say that we've got this metal spring. You've probably seen them before, a slinky of sorts. If you push the spring together, like the springs that are in those clicker pens that a lot of you really enjoy clicking, so you push the spring together, you hold it, and then once you let it go, it releases. Well, if potential energy is stored energy, and then once you release it, what type of energy does it become? It is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It is also energy that is moving. So potential is stored, and kind of the opposite is kinetic, or moving energy. Say you have two objects, and you're wondering which object has more potential energy. Well, let's take a look at these two tennis balls on, sitting on this truck to illustrate this example. So say that we've got tennis ball A. It is located on the bumper of the truck. And then we've got tennis ball B that is located on the tailgate of the truck. Everything is the same. The only thing that is different or the only thing that has changed, the only variable, is the fact that tennis ball A is located closer to the ground than tennis ball B. If we were to push both of these tennis balls off at the same time, you will see that tennis ball A has less potential energy than tennis ball B. Tennis ball B has farther to fall. This illustration that the tennis ball that is farther away from the ground has more potential energy illustrates what is called gravitational potential energy. The more gravity it has pushing down on it. So the farther something is away from the ground, the more gravitational potential energy it has. Therefore, the more potential energy it has. Now let's look at something you've probably heard about before. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Well, that's actually the law of conservation of energy. So energy can never be created or destroyed, kind of like water. Think about it like that, how we've got the water cycle. Water is never created or destroyed. It's only transformed, just like energy. Let's look at an example of a rubber band. So if we've got a rubber band and the rubber band is getting pulled back, Right now, it is gaining potential energy. It's getting ready to do something. It's gaining the more it could do something. Then the second that it is released, then it becomes kinetic energy or moving energy. So the rubber band is just being transformed between kinetic to potential, potential to kinetic. Let's try looking at something you've probably heard or seen before, a roller coaster. If I push play, you will see the pie chart change from potential to kinetic, potential to kinetic, and vice versa all the way through. Now, if I go through the step-by-step -step module, as you're going up, the roller coaster is building potential energy. Once it is at the top, it is the most potential energy it will have for the whole ride. That potential energy will then be transformed into kinetic so that the roller coaster can go through all the loops and all of the rest of the track. As the roller coaster goes down, it loses that potential energy, which is then transformed into kinetic energy. Then as we continue up, it loses kinetic energy and is starting to gain potential energy. Again, the potential energy is transformed into kinetic and vice versa. Then if we look at the bottom, notice how we've got almost all kinetic energy. It's going super, super fast. Then at the very end, we've got a little bit of potential energy because it is off the ground and we have a good chunk of kinetic energy.